Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here. Happy Saturday. And this is actually kind of weird. I, I've actually had to retape this um, for good reason, and it's because I messed up. So let me explain that. Um, this last week, we played Gren Maju de Iza. Uh, first time I got this card on the channel. Um, thought I was doing really well. Thought I was picking out a new tech with Small World. And... Again, not a bad card, but the way in which I added it to this deck is wrong. Okay, do not fall into my mistake. Um, this was pointed out to me. Big props for that. Um, I should have wrote the viewer's name down. Been a little bit smarter about today's video. Um, but it is what it is. So the way Small World would have worked is I have to reveal the monster. Um, but it has to only have exactly one thing in common. So... When I was talking about, oh, you can you can get to Grand Maju off Eater of Millions, the answer is no. Um, because the attack, the defense, and the typing are all the same. Um, so it has to be one piece of the card going to one piece of the next card to get us the next card. So again, uh, it has to be exactly ones. Um, so no, don't do that. Messed up. So we're not going to be... Uh, analyzing small world. Um, instead, what we are going to analyze today is going to be the Gizmic Orochi, Serpatron Sky Slasher. And honestly, I almost slept on this card uh, before it came time to build this deck. And I'm actually more willing to start putting this into more decks. And I'm going to explain this to you. So first and foremost, eight star Dark Machine. Already have my interest. Good stats, 2450 uh, by 2450. So if you're into the whole 50 stats, fantastic. Um, and the effect. Uh, if this is in your hand or graveyard as a quick effect, you may banish eight cards from the top of the deck face down. Special summon this card. Uh, you may banish three from the extra deck face down. Then target a card, uh, sorry, face a monster on the field and destroy it. Uh, you can only use one effect per turn and only once that turn. So we can either summon it or we can use our little bit of spot control, spot removal, uh, destruction effect. But why am I saying that this card's so good? Guys, I don't know any other way to explain this. Um, but let me, let me try. So dark means we can use the lure of darkness. Eight means trade in. And the effect also states that I can activate the summoning effect from the discard pot. Guys, if you're playing something where you need the link build, or uh, you have all the pieces of the puzzle to what you're trying to do, the resource for playing this is, do I have enough cards left in my deck to activate this? Now, great. It is an absolute all-star when it comes to our boy Grand Maju. Because, again, you go with the age, you go times the, uh, the 400, and that's an immediately like, oh, cool, here's this guy at 3,200. No other cards had to have been banished. So now Grand Maju's a boss. But in the big scope of things, um, there are so many good rank 8 Xyz. You have Hope Harbinger. Um, again, I'm not too sure off the top of my head if it's just generic 8 or if that one actually needs dragons. Um but there's a lot of good 8-star or 8-rank uh, plays that you could do. If you're playing something where you're doing a lot of synchro numbers and you're going towards the high ends, this is a great way to put 8-stars together. And any deck where you maybe don't want to summon it all the time, you, you could be running it in a big deck, 8-stars, uh, something that possibly has a danger engine in it. Because Bigfoot and I want to say Nessie are also both 8-star darks. So again, they both work for the trade-in, they both work for the Allure of Darkness, and hey, if he's the one who gets popped and sent during the whole, let's go and see if we could find hide-and-go-seek effect that all the dangers share, that's fantastic. We could still go ahead and play him from the discard pile afterward. So again, we can get a lot of Field Swarm, we can Link Build, uh, there's two, three different draw options I outlined uh, that work just great here, and again, it just works well. Um, you put it in other machine builds, things like the Machina, things like Jinzo. Uh, insert your favorite machine deck here. Uh, gadgets, maybe. Um, and again, it's just fantastic. So, how much is this boy going to cost us? Well, 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 
The Cyber Strike one is going to cost you about 20 cents. Okay, so chances are I already have these common sitting in a box and I just totally forgot about them uh, and made a big deal with my friends about needing these ultras. Um, the ultra one that you're seeing, buck 20 to 225, 226. And then the original secrets, uh, seven and a quarter to just under or just over, sorry, $13. So again, this, this guy could be as cheap as you want him. This guy could be as expensive as you want him. Um, this also allows him to be played in any type of like a tribal format. I'll get to that later um, because we do have an episode coming up about new formats, uh, things that can be played at, uh, you know, in your own house rules um, while also increasing the amount of fun. Um, but again, you play it in common charity as it is. Um, and it's just, it's just great. So guys, um, please forgive me for the small world in the Grand Maju deck. Uh, unfortunately, pretty dead card. Uh, I did need to read that it said exactly one, not just shares one. Um, <laughs> so that, the misread is entirely on me. Um, that's my fault. And I do apologize uh, and moving forward, we won't make that same mistake twice. Um, but definitely, definitely, definitely start playing Gizmic Orochi. Um, I want to see this card get limited because it's really just that good. But that's it for the TA. Um, I, I have been teasing uh, that we are going to have one of the spooky decks that's been requested the last three spooky seasons. This one included. And I will have that deck in just a few hours for you. So guys, take your guesses, uh, and then just stop by later, I guess. Hopefully I get to see you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Peace.